Hello and welcome to Hathwaya Media. I'm Sneha Kumari with you and you're watching our very exclusive interactive session. In today's session, we are going to talk about a very important topic that is knowing the importance of investing in sexual and reproductive health, for which we have a very special guest to have joined us today, uh, the founder of Genini, Mr. Nile Mehotra, to share her insights on this topic. Welcome to Hathwaya Media, sir, and thank you for giving us your time. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Sneha. Yeah. So before starting uh, about uh, discussing about this, I would like you all to know about what Janani is. So Janani is basically a digital platform that combines technological innovations with medical expertise to provide holistic solutions around sexual and reproductive health. So uh, we welcome you, sir, on our uh, session, and we'll start with uh, some insights about Janani. What is the vision? and mission and background uh, and the road ahead of the future of this project thanks a lot uh, sneha that's uh, one of the most important question to know for a new brand and uh, <coughs> so janani is a startup we are a you know about a seven month old startup we have raised close to a million and a half uh, dollars from the indian investors uh, what we are trying to build or i should say what we started building and recently we have pivoted to a bit different model so we started as a reproductive health company and that is where the janani name came up uh, because uh, one of the major decision in you know when when somebody need a child one of the we have seen that the decision maker is mostly the women yeah. so if you are looking if if we are looking into the industry of reproductive health the decision maker is generally women so keeping that name in the mind we started with the concept called janani because we found a lot of gaps in this industry it's it's one of the market which nobody talks about it's a more like a taboo which have been considered for quite a while so the vision of the company was to digitize this unorganized market make introduce certain innovative uh, you know products and make it more uh, you know efficient for people who are looking for uh, you know having a baby today tomorrow in future to bring solution as much possible to their home in their privacy so going forward what we discovered that you know uh, reproductive health is not something which uh, you know it's it's a problem of male or female it is currently it is 50 50% if i can say that yes. times are gone when you you know male dominant society used to say that it's always female who are not able to do that but, but uh, trust me the data show itself that the lifestyle changes this is uh, this is not related to one of the particular gender it is a problem which can happen to anyone at any point of time Yeah. So the vision of the company was always to create a product and you know and services uh, which uh, people can use at their home in their privacy. Uh, that is how Janani was born. Now recently, what we uh, saw after launching the product in the Bangalore market, that this is uh, you know something which people are really liking about. So we have made Janani dot life a specific brand only focused on reproductive health, and we have launched we are launching actually another brand for sexual health. which is called karma dot life so okay. we have divided the business into two segment and that is what we are doing okay okay so uh, so how to uh, do you think that uh, you know what is the uh, importance if we talk about the topic if we talk about the topic itself what is the importance of investing into sexual and uh, reproductive health how much uh, it is important according to you as you already told uh, pretty much important that's one liner if i have to say but i'll go more to elaborate uh mm -hmm. you invest in your health you know people are uh, after covid and uh, you know which has shown us the real picture of health infrastructure across the you know the world i would say oh, yeah. uh it becomes very much important for us to not neglect something which is one of a crucial and important part of your life mm -hmm. uh reproductive health and sexual health i would say was it it's it was never neglected it always have been there Mm -hmm. but it has this market have been ruled by or it is so unorganized that people go to quacks people go to hakims people go to unqualified doctors who don't even have an idea that what you have to do when you have a problem like this yes. so there itself you know we what we are bringing up as journey as a whole is a platform in which people can invest time we are there for them we are we, uh, the solutions like for example we have something called at home semen testing we are the first company in asia which has launched in india call atom semen testing so any male hmm. across anywhere can test can just collect the semen sample at home and yeah. can ship it back to us no one is going to know that you know you, yeah. what you know when you have collected the sample and we are going to give you the medical report similarly we have blood diagnostic services of female you can get your blood you know test at your home collected at home and we give you a very interactive report so yeah. people we are seeing it's it's very much important 
important so sexual and reproductive health is just like any other uh, you know condition or dysfunction yeah yeah one but thing it, i would like to tell to sorry yeah but it is more important like in a country like india how to deal with it so that's 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 the major problem we face so regarding that yeah so, so you know as i said this market people go to quacks people go to hakims people trust like they go to a lot of places you know which are not going to help them out so there has to be one single platform in which they can trust it. you know we as a platform for reproductive health which is janani or kama which is our sexual health upcoming uh, you know platform and product hmm. we treat each and every patient with utmost privacy try to bring as many solutions at their home so they don't have to step out with the uh, innovation in technology what we are doing and people should invest into that like you invest into your wellness program uh, you invest into your gyms and by the way i would like to make one statement people think sexual and reproductive health are disease no they are not disease they are dysfunction and there is a big difference between a disease and dysfunction dysfunction are caused because of your lifestyle issues you know your unhealthy eating smoking you know new lifestyle what we are being adapted to office pressure work and this leads to certain dysfunction so when you have a dysfunction you should invest in your you know treating your dysfunction as a you know as a pro- as a problem which you are facing so mm-hmm. i think you know uh, with new advent of technology people have already started investing in Thank and you. i think our numbers speak about itself we have more than 1000 customers in less than 5 months so people have invested in our solution yeah aapko lag raha hai ki hamare desh mein hamare jaise desh mein ye kafi ye badhta ja raha hai ya fir isme kuch improvement aayi hai is soch mein kahin na kahin एक चेंज देखने को मिला है। आई थिंक यू आर राइट स्नेहा बिकॉज अभी क्या हो रहा है कि टेक्नोलॉजी uh, इनोवेट हो गया है सिनेमा हॉल से मूवीज उठ के ओ पे आ चुकी हैं। uh, तो विद एडवेंट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी न्यू इनोवेशन चीजें जो आज के टाइम पे हो रही हैं, लोगों का ओपननेस बढ़ता जा रहा है एजुकेशन जो आज केवल एक लिमिटेड uh, एरिया में रह गई थी आज वो बिकॉज ऑफ इंटरनेट आज गाँव तक पहुंच रही है सो इफ यू इफ हम लोगों को एजुकेट करना शुरू कर देते हैं एंड हम राइट कंटेंट को डिलीवर कर पाते हैं ऑडियंस तक सो पीपल विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग सो यू नो आई ऑलवेज गिव एग्जांपल टू माय टीम एंड आई विल गिव हियर आई एम वेरी मच इंस्पायर्ड विद द कंपनी एवरीबॉडी नो इट्स थायरो केयर सो थायरो केयर का जब स्टार्टिंग हुआ था तो थायराइड टेस्टिंग कभी पॉपुलर नहीं था बट थायराइड आपकी बॉडी में बहुत सारे इफेक्ट नेगेटिव इफेक्ट लेके आता था थायराइड हाई हो जाता है जी थायरो केयर ने उसको रिवोल्यूशनाइज किया थायरोकेन ने उसको बोला कि लोग इस पर इन्वेस्ट करो क्योंकि थायराइड की वजह से आपको बाकी प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं। जी तो आई थिंक ये एक राइट right एजुकेशन और आज के टाइम पे विद इंटरनेट वी कैन रीच टू प्लेसेस वेयर यू नो एजु राइट कंटेंट वाज नॉट एबल टू रीच फॉर एग्जांपल आप देखिए काफी सारी मूवीज आ रही है आज इसी टॉपिक पे लोग बात कर रहे हैं आयुष्मान खुराना ने मे की डोनर करी यू नो और भी मुझे नहीं पता बट बहुत सारे एक्टर एक्ट्रेसेस पे बात करना ओपन तो बेसिकली धीरे धीरे चीजें चेंज हो रही है तो टेक्नोलॉजी कहीं ना कहीं ये जो गैप है सोसाइटी और यू नो जहां पर वी कैन नॉट टॉक फ्रीली अबाउट सेक्स सो डू यू थिंक दैट लाइक हाउ इज द टेक्नोलॉजी चेंजिंग इट नॉट ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द मूवीज और द ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म यू आर सी और पीपल आर टॉकिंग फ्रीली अबाउट इट अदर देन दैट हाउ वट आर द स्टेप्स यू आर टेकिंग ऑन योर एंड एज बींग टेक्नोलॉजिकल यू नो कंपनी सो टू चेंज और द ब्रिज द टू ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन द सोसाइटी एंड दिस थिंकिंग yeah i said as i said you know for example i will take again example of our at home cement testing um uh, male gender as a as a gender mm-hmm. have always neglected themselves and even by the society ki tumhe problem nahi hogi you will not have any problem mm-hmm. the problem is always the wife mm-hmm. now this thinking is changing yeah people have been trying they don't conceive eventually somebody tell them to go for cement test for male cement test is the only test to tell you about your fertility health there is no other test yes now for them to test they have to go to a private hospital a lab mm. because semen as uh, you know uh, when semen is time constraint mm-hmm. so once you deliver your semen to a you know a lab it has to be tested at a specific time what we have innovated mm. is we are able to control the semen for 24 hours 20 now we are actually going to 48 hours so we get lot of time to transport semen from his home so he can collect the semen at his own comfort mm-hmm. so and then ship it to our central lab for you know giving the reports now if you see what we are trying to do is mm-hmm. get these people who have been shy about doing this kind of testing mm-hmm. at their home 
So with invention on the kind of new technology we are bringing in, yeah. we are making it more private for people. And yeah. definitely, things take time to change. It will. It is not yeah. going to change overnight because uh, sex and uh, you know reproductive health have been taboo. But yeah. I think we are uh, trying uh, to bring privacy, and we are trying to you know give solution for people at their home, so they come out of their shyness and of these solutions. Yeah. और अगर रीच की बात की जाए तो आप कितने सिटीज और कितने यू नो इज इट ओनली अवेलेबल इन द बिग सिटीज दिस दिस फैसिलिटीज ओनली अवेलेबल इन द बिग सिटीज और द स्मॉल टाउन या वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली वी वर टेस्टिंग अवर प्रोडक्ट टिल लास्ट कपल ऑफ मंथ्स इन बेंगलोर व्हाट स्पेंटापलस रिजल्ट एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी चेंज्ड अ बिट ऑफ बिजनेस मॉडल टू मेक इट मोर इलैबोरेट नाउ नाउ वी हैव थ्री division of business as a brand janani janani offers diagnostic and services which is ivf iui and diagnostics we mm-hmm. have our e-commerce store which we will be launching soon which we have very interesting proprietary products these are nutraceutical created by expert doctors which okay. we can help patient into their uh, reproductive health and then we have certain programs mm-hmm. uh, after seeing the success we have uh, we will be launching by end of this month in next six cities okay. so these six cities are going to be already in bangalore then bombay Ahmedabad, uh, Chennai, and uh, Hyderabad, and one name I'm forgetting. It's I think it's uh, I need to check. Yeah, it's Pune. Pune. Okay. So, what are your future plans for the small towns or the you know? Because I think he kafi zada important hai. Big cities may you at least have this you know facility, but what about the small towns and the? Uh, uh, we have plans. Uh, like if you see, we have a mix of tier one and tier two cities. Like Pune is a tier two city. Ahmedabad is a tier two city. Mm-hmm. and then bangalore bombay a metro city chennai is a metro city hyderabad is a metro city we are testing our you know we are te- going to do some pilots over here the target is by end of 2022 we should be into 50 cities so definitely it is going to be 30% uh, you know uh, 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 tier uh, tier 1 cities and uh, sorry tier tier 1 cities as 70% and 30% we will be focusing on tier 2 cities and over a period of time definitely we will grow our business okay okay that's great uh my next question for you would be uh, why modern contrac- uh, contraception and uh, receiving standard uh, standardized uh, pregnancy related care is essential uh, right now or you know what is the condition right now so contraceptive is one market which uh, you know have been again it is it is part of the sexual health and reproductive health and people really because of lack of education don't know what to do Mm-hmm. so i think the brands who have come in past we are not able to educate people in a right way and people think that contraceptives are just emergency way of you know protecting an unprotected sex right which leads to sometime very bad health effect on females mm-hmm. because uh, young females uh, you know who don't have right knowledge of like uh, the sex education is not properly right. delivered to them they uh, just for some reason pop up a pill and then they think everything is going to normal but it has long lasting effect if you don't take it with under right supervision right supervision. so i think uh, that is where we are uh, you know building our product and platform in which we are actually in future we'll see i cannot reveal a lot of details right now it's yet to launch but uh, we are actually going to make it more easy easy for patients to understand what kind of contraceptive pills is suitable for them and it will be regulated through a doctor it's not that you just come and take a pill and start popping it up mm-hmm. so i think right set of education is very much important in contraceptives uh you know delivery in which we should have health expert you know and uh, yeah. people who are uh, doctors who should be imparting these knowledge to the people i think that is where you know uh, is, is one of the most important part second question you're talking about standardized uh, you know uh, pregnancy related care uh, if you can yeah. repeat the question i sorry uh, standardized pregnancy related care is essential receiving this uh, receiving standard yeah that is what we are doing you know but uh, as i said unorganized market super unorganized market you go for one thing here you go to a gynae gynae will tell you go for a blood test then uh, once you get a report she will tell you go to an endocrinologist then you will go for an ultrasound yeah. highly unstandardized way Now mm-hmm. what we are doing is we are one single platform, and mm-hmm. standardization need to be done for you know uh, things which are uh, important like reproductive health. So standardization, mm-hmm. if if you do standardization, you can reach to more number of people. Like okay. you said, you know what about tier two? If you don't standardize the solution, then you know uh, probably tier two villages, all these places will be left 
into this market yeah. so that is where standardization of pregnancy related solutions has to be done by someone in i think we are we have one of the one and there are other companies who are trying to do it to mm-hmm. make this under one umbrella so you can get most of the you can avail the services uh, on a single platform yeah okay uh so uh what about how startups like jenny are helping men and women to revive their marital and intimate lives according to your experience as so far what have you experienced brilliant brilliant experience uh, have helped a lot of people mm-hmm. uh of course in a business which we are in we cannot reveal the name of the patients and yeah, what, yeah. but yeah we have uh got people who were trying to conceive uh, were told by doctors that go for an ivf abhi to do bar se try you have been trying and you can just go for an ivf mm-hmm. we don't work like that uh, you know uh, we have helped patients to conceive naturally through our programs and okay. uh, you know having nutraceuticals there are a lot of uh, good reviews which we have got around patients in a very uh, early uh, quick uh, early months we were able to show large traction because patient love our product so i think one of the most important thing which we are focusing on is customer experience uh, mm-hmm. a customer in uh, you know in our business we treat them uh, it's it's not like you know uh, any other hospital where you go and you 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 mm-hmm. treated like a normal patient but we yeah. treat them like a friend because we believe okay this is a problem which can happen to anyone so i think uh, experience have been superb and uh, you know a lot of patients have been benefited by our uh, you know products as we have more yeah. than 1000 patients now so okay that's great uh do you do you also provide any other facility related to the mental health care of you know uh, the you know married couple or any or uh, you know regarding this uh, issue yeah so we have a uh, programs uh, because mental health plays a very important role so as i said it is not a disease disease if disease is cancer cancer is a disease but reproductive yeah. health is not it's a dysfunction this so dysfunction happens for various reason your hormonal activities may change uh, your lifestyle may change mm-hmm. you have mental stress your hormones will start playing some different roles altogether so yeah. definitely mental counseling because very important that is where we have in house certified counselor who are part of janini team who counsel mm-hmm. patient whenever required as per the program which they you know opt for so mm-hmm. we have a compulsory counseling session for all the male and female but yes uh, uh, we only are into you know anything which is medical we don't get into divorce counseling and all those okay so um uh, that's uh, do you want to add something else uh, to for our viewers to know uh, so definitely you know snehal first of all th- snehal thank you so much for you know taking out time and uh, all the viewers who are watching this i think uh, as you initially also said we should be more bold about talking about these issues these this is just like any other problem this is like your diabetes if you have a diabetes you speak about it sexual reproductive health is something you should not be shy about mm-hmm. you should come open for you know open about it it is better to have a preventive measure taken and be more bold about it rather when it's too late then you know it's it's not going to help you out yeah. so that is what i want to tell the viewers that you know uh, if we are in your cities uh, you know uh, i will you know uh, request especially males to mm-hmm. book uh, you know our semen testing uh, if you are in any of these six cities it uh, because semen test is going to tell you about your biomarkers about a lot of your health things you know it, it because semen is one of your uh, biomarkers for a lot of your health issues if you have so yeah. be bold and uh, you know come out of the problems that's what yeah. i can say okay this is my personal what uh, question i wanted to ask you is that how uh, t- during this covid time or the covid pan- pandemic has this affected uh, your this journey or the company's journey related to uh, the treatments or the diagnosis people were coming out or because aise bahut sare data aaye hain ki reproduction uh, or you know the birth rates have reduced a lot Uh, during this time in some places so have you faced anything due, due to the covid pandemic uh honestly okay two things so when the uh, pandemic came we actually were building our product we are a company which is uh you know was born during the lockdown so that okay. is an interesting thing second yeah. thing we have seen uh, we haven't seen any kind of drop and we have just seen an upward trajectory growth Uh-huh. uh you know in which patient has come actually uh you know uh, still uh, you know making a disclaimer i am not an expert still researches are going on mm-hmm. and there are a lot of articles which are available uh, yeah. on internet that 
uh, people who have been a uh, covid uh, especially male not female there have no studies on female but yeah into semen quality have actually degraded to a certain mm-hmm. level mm-hmm. and uh, there is an open paper which has been published by certain again how much is true or not i cannot comment on that but yes as in, uh, any other effect which covid has caused i think it has caused certain uh, you know problems into reproductive health for male uh, female study is still going on i think uh, we haven't seen any kind of dip in the business but patients have already come out uh you know uh, they yes for patients who have been trying ivf yes covid has been a disaster for them because you know you yeah. cannot go you're thinking about your but yeah patients who have been trying natural pregnancy you know covid have actually been boon because they were able to spend more time and all yeah yeah okay uh, so i think we have got a lot of insights about this topic and uh, you uh, everybody uh, who needs to know something about reproductive health please watch the video and thank you so much uh, sir for joining us and giving us your insights we'll again talk about something important soon in the future thank you sneha okay. thanks yeah.